So this year when we went into the NCAA tournament, we had nine seniors on our team and they were really, really intent on winning a championship. So when you get into that one and done situation, they were really intent on making a great showing in the NCAA tournament. Well, that intentness sometimes brought them some anxiety because now you're one and done. Um, we all know what that feels like. So we decided we wanted to come up with some type of message where we wouldn't allow any excuses to occur within our team. So first thing we had to do was talk about why do we make excuses? And sometimes we make excuses because we're a little bit afraid to go all in. So we'll create an excuse. So just in case it doesn't work out for us, we're going to be able to justify it. So we gave them some examples. This was an NCAA tournament game that was played in Wisconsin on the same day that we played our first round NCAA tournament game. So we said, what if our team had to play in those conditions? We like to play the ball on the ground at Florida. When you got that much snow on the ground, that's going to be a little difficult. So we say, well, you know, we can't play in these conditions. Probably it's not going to happen for us today. We'll just turn it in before we even play. Of course, our team didn't think that was what we would do. But it was also, of course, they're like, we're never really going to see that snow at University of Florida. So the next picture we showed them was a game like this. This was at Winthrop. It was also a game that was actually played on this field on that day. So I don't know if you ever tried to play a ball on the ground with puddles. There's two things that happen. One is you hit it and it stops dead. The other is you hit it and it skips and it goes flying. And it's totally unpredictable as to which is going to happen. So what happens if we would play in this? And this is very realistic to Florida. We get these thunderstorms all the time. So we thought, we need to look at what does it look like for us to go all in in a situation like this. So we showed them this picture of us playing against Notre Dame a few years back, and one of our players, Shana here, is totally all in on this tackle and in this game. So we wanted to give them a visual of what does all in look like. It might not look pretty. It might not look like we're going to be able to play passes on the ground, but we're going to go all in, and we're just going to go for it. Well, we also had to create an environment where we would support each other through that. So if we're going to go all in, we, we're probably going to take risks. If we're going to take risks, we're probably going to make mistakes. Well, how are we going to move through those mistakes? And I think for us as coaches and for teammates, you have about one to three seconds to react to a mistake. And I'm either going to hold somebody in that mistake or I'm going to help them move through that mistake. And we wanted to create a culture where we were going to help people move through those mistakes. So we decided to have this green, go green campaign. And we talked a little bit about Sue's influence with this. Um, she, I called her up and we were talking about this. She's on my board of directors. And we talked about, well, what does it look like to go green, to go all in? So we showed that picture. We talked about it's taking risks. And then we said, well, what does it look like if we start to hit yellow? We talked about what that looked like, timid, tentative, not really going for it, playing to not lose instead of to win. Well, we wanted to create a visual reminder for our team, so we put these little green packets together with green wristbands. Our team loves presents of any kind. So we gave them these green wristbands. They got pretty excited. <laughs> <laughs> and we asked them to wear the green wristbands in the NCAA tournament, which they did. So you can see all these pictures of them wearing the green wristbands. So we've progressed through the NCAA tournament. Our next game, is against Stanford. Stanford has given up one goal, or I'm sorry, two goals in the entire season on their home field. Two goals. So in the NCAA tournament, they're pretty convinced that they can win a game 1-0. Four minutes into the game, this is what happens. Stanford scores. So our team, in this situation, had we not talked about this whole goal green thing, could be like, wow, this could be the end of our season. They're not going to give up too many goals. We're four minutes in to a 90-minute game, and they've already scored. But instead, this is what happened. Here's our bench. Annie is yelling, this is where we're louder than ever. You see the green pennies. You see some green headbands. And all of a sudden, you see the players starting to wave their green wristbands. So now, instead of looking over to the bench and thinking, oh, woe is me, they're looking over at the bench, and they're seeing their teammates supporting them through this and saying, we know what this whole go green means. You can even see Vic in his big green parka. Um, we know what this means. We're going to just keep going for it. This is something that resonated with our team so much. 
when we didn't even have the green wristbands at other times, like when players go play for a national team or when we're playing in the spring, we had players take green Sharpies and they would just draw a green dot on their arm just to remind them. So back to the Stanford game. Stanford scores four minutes in. The Gators come back and score five minutes later. Unfortunately, Stanford scores again. <laughs> and fortunately, the Gators come back and score a second goal. So now it's 2-2. End of regulation, we go into overtime, stays tied in overtime, and we head to penalty kicks. Stanford takes a great penalty kick here, and this penalty kick ends our season, and this goalkeeper in this frame is a senior, so that ends her career. But what was awesome to see at the end of this game was the support that we gave each other for going all in and having each other back and saying, through mistakes, through great times, we're gonna support one another, we saw these players come together like you're going to see in this video. And in 20 years of coaching at Florida, I have never seen this. Usually when a game ends and the season is over, you see kind of people doing their own thing in different places in the field. But this is absolutely everybody on our whole team together right at the end of the match. So I'm still shaking hands with the opposition, and by the time I get over here, one of the juniors is giving a speech about what a great honor it was to play with the seniors. So that trust and support was really evident in this group.